If you're selling any kind of digital product or service, you're going to need to build a list. And at the centre of your list building efforts are opt-in pages. Now opt-in pages collect your prospects' email addresses. So in this video, I want to show you how to create an opt-in page that converts in Kajabi. But I'm going to be going one step beyond that. I'm going to show you how one little setting in Kajabi is going to double your opt-in rates. And here's the thing. I can't for the life of me think why nobody else showed you this because it makes a massive difference. So I will because it's all about getting you the maximum number of subscribers. So I'll be showing you. And I'm also going to be showing you a few other little tricks that are going to translate into making you more money. Fortunately, if you're using Kajabi, it does make it easier to build opt-in pages that convert really well. But if you're not using Kajabi yet and you, you want to give it a try out, I've put a link below to a free 30 day trial. Won't cost you a penny. Anyway, let's get started. Over to Kajabi. Here we are in my Kajabi test account. Now, there's a couple of ways we could build an opt-in page. We could go to website and then select pages. And then here under landing, if I click that and then select new landing page, scroll down till we come to opt-in select view all and then we could select one like this for instance but the problem with doing it this way is it only builds the opt-in page you've then got to create your own thank you page and you've got to set up your own email sequence and all that and since kajabi can do all this for you without you having to mess about it makes sense to have kajabi do all the work so what we're going to do we're going to use the pipeline feature in kajabi but before we get into that if you're getting value from this video hit the like button, maybe even the subscribe too. Anyway, let's jump back to Kajabi and set this up. To set up our opt-in page, we've got to open up marketing and then select pipelines. And then up here at the top, we want new pipeline. Now there's loads of pre-built templates in here, all configured to get you up and running quickly. The one we want is this one here, freebie. So we'll click that. We get a diagram of the simple pipeline. We've got a video under here that tells you a little bit more about it. And to create our opt-in pipeline, all we've got to do is click create pipeline. I'll just give it a name for our own reference. I'll call it email sign up. Then here, this is where we can attach our freebie. And for the time being, I'm going to attach one. Now I'm going to show you an alternative method shortly, which I think is better. But for the time being, I'll click that navigate to my freebie. Click open. And when it's uploaded, I'll click generate pipeline. Kajabi works its magic in the background. And when it's done, we get our simple opt-in sequence. We've got our opt-in page here. Now the typical flaw here is that you promote your free offering and they visit the opt-in page. They give you their contact details. Kajabi then sends out an email confirmation and the visitor also gets sent to a thank you page, which is down here. Now, this is pretty simple, but we can improve it a little. The first thing we want to do is customize the pages a little. So I'm just going to click on the opt-in page up here. The page loads in the editor and now we can start to customize it if we want to. If I come over here and click add section, there's all these extra elements that I could add if I wanted. But before we start adding anything, I just want to make something really clear about opt-in pages. Now I know this is stating the obvious, but the only job that an opt-in page has to do is to get somebody to give us their contact details. <laughs> That's it. The more clutter you put on the opt-in page, the more barriers you put in the in the prospect's way and the fewer email addresses you'll collect. So we're back at the opt-in page and the first thing I want to do, and this is a personal choice. You see this text box here on the left. I want to put my headline and my subheader in this. So rather than have it here on the side, what I want to do, I want it to be up here above the opt-in box. And all I've got to do is come down here, select it. Then over here on the right, I'm going to change the width to 12 columns to take up the full page and to edit the text i'll just come down here to the text box i'll just highlight that and i'll type in how to build an online business in seven days i'll add a subheading so i'll just scroll down to the subheading i'll select that and i'll add the lazy way to building a successful business revealed when it comes to writing headlines for any type of copy there's hundreds of different formats well maybe not hundreds but there's a lot Anyway, one of the tried and trusted formats, one that you can't really go wrong with, is the O2 headline. Headlines that start with O2. How to get X while avoiding Y or how to get X in a given time period. And you've seen these countless times because they work. 
the headline states the benefit and then the subhead it expands on it adds a little bit of curiosity so we're back at our opt-in page i'm just going to center this text to make it align correctly so i'll just highlight that then come up here to formats come down to alignment and click center click save and there we go so next i want to change the opt-in box so i'm just going to change the text i'll select it come over to the text box and i'm going to change the text to download the ultimate guide to business success and i'll just add a little bit of copy to give them an extra nudge i'll scroll down select that and change it to the best business guide for startups there's other things we could change on this page we could change the background image the background image at the minute it's got a dark overlay we could change that by clicking on the background then scrolling down here to background color select and now say i could change it to a blue but when i do can you see what's happened here it's now a solid color what i've got to do i'll just come back down here to the color to select that and now this slider here, if I just slowly reduce that, the background becomes transparent. I don't actually like that. I'll turn it back to black. There we go. Now, before we get onto the form and what we've got to do to set that up, this call to action button down here, there's a couple of things. First, get it now. <laughs> we really should change that to something a little bit more compelling. So I'll click that come over here and in the text box I'll type get your free guide I'll click save okay so let's sort the form out now currently Kajabi has created and populated a form for us now there's a couple of things that we need to look at and this is really important so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on edit your forms we now get the forms page and here at the top is the form in question so I'll just click the little pencil icon to edit now here and this is really important so if you're multitasking come back to me here for a minute you see by default Kajabi sets this form to double opt-in why this is such a big deal is what actually happens when somebody fills in their email address if you have the recommended setting of double opt-in selected when somebody fills in their contact details and then hits submit they're taken to the thank you page where they can download your freebie and at the same time, Kajabi then sends them an email asking them to confirm. Do they want to subscribe? It's only after they take the trouble to confirm do you get their email address. And it's only then that Kajabi sends out your thank you email. The thing is, at this point, well, at least from your perspective's point of view, they've not really got the, the same incentive to confirm. They've already got what you've offered and you're left with no email address. Now, I've tested this and the drop-off rates are around about 50%. Am I saying you shouldn't use double opt-in? No, I'm not saying that at all. That's entirely up to you. Double opt-in is recommended for a, a number of reasons. But what I am saying is you need to slightly change things. You need to, you need to circumnavigate this drop-off. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's jump back to the forms page. There's two things we have to do to fix this. First, I'm going to come down here under additional options and I'm going to turn this on and I'll just scroll down so you can see the text. Now I have control over the content that's sent in the email asking them to subscribe. So rather than the default text, I'm going to paste something in that's a little bit more motivational to get them to confirm their subscription. When I've done that, I'm just going to come up here, click save, and then we'll just come out of the forms page. We'll be coming back in a minute, but first I want to come over here to pipelines. I'll click on our pipeline, which is here at the top. Then I'm going to come down here to our thank you page, and I'm going to click that to open it in the editor. I'm going to come up here to the button. I'm going to select that. And if I come over here to the right hand side, here under button action where it's download a file, underneath that we've got a button that says pick a file. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select choose file. I'm going to navigate to our lead magnet. I'm going to select that. Click open. Once it's uploaded, I'll click save. I'm now going to preview the file. So I'm going to click on this little icon here. When the page loads, I'm going to come down to the download now button. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy link address. I want the Kajabi URL for our upload. And we're going to be using this in a minute. Now I'll jump back over to the editor. I'm going to come down here, select the download button. And here on the right, under include CTA, I'm going to unselect it. And the download button is now gone. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste in some text telling them that the download link is going to be sent by email. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. I'll just select the text. Click there to select it in the text editing box. And I'll paste it in and click save. 
So now the only way they can get my free bit is via email. They can't download it from the thank you page. We've just got to finish setting up the form because there's a, a few other little things I want to show you. So I'll jump back to the forms page. So I'm going to come down here to the forms field. When it comes to asking for information, I like to keep it short. The less, the better. I typically only ask for what I need, and this is normally just the first name and the email address, and that's it. Now, if we come further down, the next setting down, and this is really useful. As you grow, being able to target email campaigns based on where your customers came from originally or what products they've purchased, this is what tags do. You can assign a tag based on an action, and I always use these. I'll just click Add Automation, and then up here, when form is submitted, underneath the form being the email sign-up form, I could then assign an action. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to come down to Add Tag. I could, if I wanted, pick an existing tag, but I think we'll create a new one. So I'll just give it a name. Hit Enter, and that's the tag sorted. I could refine it even further under here, add a condition. I could get really granular if I wanted. We'll just leave it as it is. I'll just come back and click Save. And lastly, on Forms, up here at the top, we've got three checkboxes. And this one, the middle one, send the contact to a third-party email provider. If I take that, I now get a drop-down box. And if I open the drop-down box, you can see in there, I've got active campaign set up. That's what I use for my emails. I can set up Kajabi to work with pretty much any third-party email provider. Now, this is where some people start to get a little bit confused. They thought that Kajabi can do all the emailing stuff. Well, it can. But dedicated applications like ActiveCampaign, they have more advanced list segregation tools. But if you're just starting out and your list is, say, like less than a thousand, I would stick with Kajabi for your emails. When you start making more money, then you can start thinking about getting fancy. So with all that done, I'll just unselect that. Come up here and click save. Now we've got to do just one more thing. If you remember, we've got to set up the email to send the link to the PDF. And I'm also going to show you one more little trick. So I'm just going to jump back to the pipeline. I'm going to click on our pipeline. I'm going to come down to the blue icon, the email sequence and select it. Then I'm going to come over here to the email itself and I'm going to click on it to edit it. Here under day, we have a zero. And that means the email is going to be sent immediately. If we come down here to internal title, well, that really doesn't matter because only you will see that. In the subject line, I'm going to change that. I'll just highlight it and then paste in a little bit of text. And then down here in the body of the email, I'm just going to remove that. We'll just type in hello. Then I'm going to personalize it. If I come over here to personalize, select that and then select first name. It populates the first name for us. It gives us a placeholder. And then I'm just going to paste in some text. I'll highlight that. I'll copy the link I saved from earlier. And with that text there highlighted, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to select link. And then for the URL, I'm just going to paste in our link. And then I'm going to click OK. And with that done, I'll just click Save. Now, here's an opportunity that most people miss. I can guarantee that this email, the one with the download link, is going to get opened by the vast majority of people. Open rates on emails like this, they can be 80, 85, or even 90%, which is insane. I mean, a top email marketer, they get excited with an open rate of like 25%. So when you're crafting your message, think carefully about how you can move your prospects along to another action. Make the most of the opportunity. When I did this the first time around, I made like over 500 grand by capitalizing on it. In fact, I made a video on how to pull this off and I'll Put a link up here. Go watch it after this one. Now to finish off, we're back at our pipeline overview page. And if we come back to our email sequence, I'll just come down here and click on the email sequence. If I wanted to add another email to the sequence, I could. I could just come up here and then click add new email. I could pick one of these templates if I like, but personally, I like simple to the point email. So I'll just switch to the classic editor. And now I could decide how many days after they sign up, they get their second email. I could put in there, after three days, I could give it an internal title. I'll just put, I give it a subject line, a little bit of copy in the body. And there we go. We've got a second email in the sequence, which will be sent out on day three. 
and I can add as many emails to this sequence as I like. Well, there we go. I've tried to put some real practical advice into this lesson above beyond just building a basic opt-in page. If you liked it, let me know in the comments and hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, bye for now.